Kit Fusion Money Talk here, with, back again with another video. And in case this is the first time you stumbled onto any of my videos, I pretty much talk about finance. I talk about ways to make money, save money, invest in money, pretty much anything to do with money. So you're probably wondering why I'm wearing hunting clothes. Why am I wearing hunting clothes? I'm going to talk about hunting. So I know some of y'all probably wondering, Kent, this is a money channel. Why are you talking about hunting? There's a reason I'm talking about hunting now. So in case you want, in case you been one of those people paying attention of the community tab, I asked a question. Do you think cheaper? Do you think hunting is cheaper than buying meat in the store? So a lot of us think it is. So, first of all, to go hunting, you're gonna need you're gonna need something to hunt with. It could be a gun, a bow and arrow. So you're gonna need that. You're probably gonna want to get like a weapon permit for your gun if you're gonna go hunting with a gun. I don't believe you need one for an air rifle, but just check your laws just in case. And of course, you are going to need a hunt license. But before you get a hunt license, there's like some course you gotta take. Well, at least in Florida, it is. I'm pretty sure it's the same in most states. So there's this online hunt course I had to take. And it was pretty interesting. They go over the guns, they go over the hunting rules and all that. They didn't go over the Muzzle over. <laughs> it's pretty much what people use like in the old days. A type of gun people use, <laughs> which I don't plan on using. So those guns, they taste, it takes a long time to load up. <laughs> so how much do these calls? Well, duh. If you do decide to get the weapon permit, Oh, yeah, I don't even remember how much it costs. Be honest with you guys, sorry. I just don't remember how much the weapon permit costs. But you only buy it one time. I mean, you do have to renew it like every certain amount of years. So I'm not going to count this payment. A lot of these are just starting payments that you start off paying. Like for the sale of the hunting clothes. You can wear the same clothes for years, decades, maybe 20 years. <laughs> now the hunting courts. Now after you complete the hunt course, they'll pretty much give you a car like this. So you still can't go hunting. This car just lets you get a hunt license. So you go to Walmart or you go online to get your hunt license. But this is the car you want. This I'm covering everything up because I'm finding my information. But this is the car you want to get the hunt license card. Also, I can't show you the front because it shows too much of my information. <laughs> but for me, I have like a the regular hunt license, which I think it was like what nineteen twenty dollars something like that. The Mike Gary Bird permit. So that goes from like, well, this one don't go for a year. It goes from like October to like March. So not quite a year. Management area permit. You're probably wondering what is that. So I'm good into like this year of October 26th. So I'm good into that time. But of course, there's some other permits you could add to this card. Like for example, maybe, I'm just using this as an example. I don't even know if there is a permit for this, but maybe you want to hunt alligators. You have to add like another permit to this card. So it's pretty interesting. So 
So as you can see, you do have to pay that amount like every single year. So I said the hunt license itself was what nineteen twenty dollars. Then the man, then the hunt like in the like a management area. That was like another twenty three dollar I think. So it's around for the forty five dollar. I'm just gonna say forty five dollars. You get both of them. And a migrated bird house is free. They told me it was free, so like you know what, you can just add it. But of course there is the, the starting calls. Cause I got me a 22 a couple years ago. I bought it whenever the government gave me that eleven hundred dollars. So I got me a twenty two. It was it was less than three hundred dollars. I think like around 250 260 something like that so i got me my first 22. i mean i always wanted to go hunting but i i didn't have a dad take me hunting no i did not grow up with a single mom i had a father he just wasn't into hunting so i just thought i should point that out <laughs> sometimes i feel like i did have a single mom though because my dad was in the military so sometimes he did he was out for a while but anyway that 22 of course it's going to last me years decades I might even be able to pass it down to my kid or grandkid but it's going to last a while and of course there's ammo the ammo for a 22 it's like really cheap it only costs like five or six dollars to get like a box of 22s. Let me show you what that looks like. You know what? Maybe I should show it to you. I might get demonetized from this channel if I show it. I don't know if I'll get demonetized if I show a gun on this channel. <laughs> so be, I have one that comes with like 40 bullets. And I think the other one came with, they're, they're like hollow point. I just bought like some hollow point. I haven't even fired them yet. I mean, I had fired by 22 at the shoot range. Just get a hang of it. But those were like the other type of bullets. I, I don't know. Man, I don't quite know what you call them. The ones that go like straight through you. But the hollow points, when they shoot you, it like explodes. So those are the two type of bullets. So that is bull the bullets you have to buy, of course, when you go hunting. And of course, the hunting clothes. You're going to need an orange hat. So I got me two orange hats. I got me like a cap. And I got me like the winter hat. The orange winter hat. Which I was wearing. Because <laughs> I went, hunt went hunting last week. At least I try to. And of course, I do have an air rifle. I had this air rifle since I was like in the seventh grade. So I had it since I was 13 and it still works. The barrel does kind of come off sometimes. I was thinking about maybe taking it to like an aerosmith, not aerosmith, but a gunsmith, but they don't work on air rifles, just regular guns. What sucks? What I got, I had it made, guys, when I went to Sports Academy, because my bird gave me like a hundred dollar gift card for Sports Academy, and I also had like another one hundred dollar gift card for my birthday, because my birthday's in November. My bro was trying to mail me that gift card, but it bounced. He had a wrong address, so it bounced. But I finally got it on Christmas, so I had two hundred dollars, and I pretty much. Use that to buy the hunting gears. Well, of course, I don't. We don't have to count like the expenses for the guns, the, the hunting gear, like the like this like this jacket, the clothes. 
So these things last for years, so we can't ignore those causes. But obviously, the hunting license, you're going to have to renew it like every single year. You are going to have to buy bullets, but of course, bullets can last a while. But for me, I do go to the shooting range, so I shoot those bullets <laughs> every now and then. But let's talk about my hunting trip. How was it? So here's was my plan. I was planning on hunting some squirrels. I even had like cooler of ice in there. So I'm like, you know what? When I hunt these squirrels, I'm going to put them in this cooler so the meat can stay shred fresh and they don't decompose. So that was my plan. I figured I'll shoot about three or four. I also just mess around cooking them. Just watch maybe one of Kendall Gray YouTube videos, how to skin a squirrel. In case you don't know who Kendall Gray is, I'll just I'll have his link down here. He's a hunter. I watch his videos sometimes. He pretty much shows you how to skin a squirrel. <laughs> so I figure, you know, I'll shoot about three or four of them. And I'm gonna cook them in different ways. I'll try frying fry one of them, then I'll try to cook one on grill. And I'll even get one to my friend. <laughs> he never had squirrel before. Then like, if I don't find these squirrels, maybe I'll just shoot a rabbit if I see a rabbit. You're probably wondering, do I see like tons of squirrels running around? Let me tell you the truth, guys. Well, it's not what you think it is. I was out. I was like in a management area because I found there was a management area in where I live in Green Coast. So I was out there. I actually did see like a black squirrel. I think it was a fox squirrel, which I'm not even allowed to hunt. I think, I believe they're, they're like endangered in Florida. So I did see that when I was driving. But when I went inside the actual hunting area, the whole six hours I was, I think it was six hours I was there. I only seen like one squirrel the whole time, believe it or not. And I didn't have a good view of it. It was like his tail. I'm thinking, yeah, I got this. I'm going to get this girl. I'm going to bring this home. I'm going to cook it. I went around. Guess what? The squirrel just disappeared. I'm looking at the tree. I was going to shoot out of the tree, too. <laughs> but it was just gone. I don't know where the squirrel went. And that's the only squirrel I saw the whole time. So I came home. With no meat at all. I did try to like shoot like a robin with my 22, but I don't think that's the best thing to shoot. <laughs> I think it's better shooting like, I think shooting a robin with like a air rifle would, would be better. But I was using a 22. <laughs> so I think a 22 might be a little bit too big to shoot a robin. I mean, if you disagree, leave Collins down here. I kept trying to ink. I had it like lined up with the scope, but I just kept missing. I think my scope might be off. I did come back out with an air rifle look for those robins. It's like yeah, as soon as I got my air rifle, they're all gone all of a sudden. <laughs> so that was a disappointment. But it was still fun to get out there. Look around. It was it was Pretty fun. I saw like a rattlesnake though. I admit I did see a rattlesnake. This is a funny story. I almost stepped on it too. This is the first time I seen a rattlesnake like this up close. Fortunately, I didn't step on it. Thank God. Because I don't want to I don't have to go to the hospital. <laughs> so, but I'm pointing my gun at the rattlesnake. I'm pulling the trigger. Nothing comes out. So I'm like, you know what, make the safe is on. So I take the safe on, pull the trigger, nothing comes out. So I give up. Uh, maybe I had to take my gun to like the shop. So I walk around like, Kent, <laughs> do you try the lever? I try to put the lever. I finally pull the trigger, something finally comes out. I'm like, whoa, I forgot to pull the lever. 
but I didn't go back to shoot the snake because obviously, I don't. I would feel weird bringing a bring like a rattlesnake home and skin. I just feel weird. Snakes just freak me out, guys. So I'm like, you know, I'll just pass on that. I just can't see myself trying to cook a rattlesnake. <laughs> so those things. I don't know why it's about snakes. They just freak me out for some reason. <laughs> but it was all good. So I got like zero dollars worth of meat. But obviously hunts like fishing. So sometimes I go fishing. I get I get like what six fish, and other times I don't get nothing. So. I guess hunting's the same thing. It was, it was my first time going hunting. I figure it'll be it'll probably it'll be easier than fishing. I actually was thinking that way. It'll be easier because I figure even if I don't find squirrels, you know what? There'll be other options. May I see a rabbit and I can shoot that. But the only thing I really saw mostly was birds. And like I said, I think my skill was off my gun. But I believe that air rifle is probably the best to shoot a bird. At least a smaller bird like a robin. Now a duck, a 22 would be good for a duck in my opinion. But looks like my minutes, I'm about to run out of time. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you believe that hunting meat is cheaper than buying meat in a grocery store, let me know. Leave comments down here. And with that being said, have a good... Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day, by the way.